Here in Utah, a coalition of health care advocates is hosting a forum on the local impact of repealing the Affordable Care Act and cutting Medicaid. News specialist Jed Bull live with their reaction to the GOP health care bill being pulled this afternoon. Jed? Yeah, right now, health care analysts from AARP Utah, the Utah Health Policy Project, and also Voices for Utah Children are concerned about Medicaid cuts that were in that bill. No vote today on that GOP replacement bill. So many Utahns are still waiting to find out exactly what is in store for their health care in the future. These health care advocates are glad that that bill was pulled. The senior health care analyst for Voices for Utah Children tells me thousands of kids here in Utah are at risk of losing their Medicaid coverage after tremendous gains in kids' health care in recent years. In Utah today, Medicaid helps provide care for 200,000 kids, 16,000 seniors, 34,000 people with disabilities, and 5,500 pregnant women, nearly 300,000 people in all. They believe the GOP bill included dangerous cuts that would have hurt each of those groups. Proposing to make dangerous cuts and um, put people's coverage at risk is something that, that we, uh, we can't just pretend like that didn't happen. We have to we have to really um, continue to work with all stakeholders and political leaders. A lot of people still monitoring the situation now as we wait to find out what comes next. Utah representatives Chris Stewart and Mia Love this afternoon expressed their disappointment that that bill was not voted on today. They're expecting more work on that bill in the weeks ahead. We'll have to see how it all unfolds. For KSL 5, I'm Jed Bowles. Jed, thank you. Congressman Stewart.